Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for this uh, nice opportunity of being here. Uh, and I all the time enjoy uh, coming to uh, Cyprus and joining the Kovartin's uh, University uh, in any kind of physics activity. And thanks a lot uh, for this opportunity. And moving to my talk. Uh, and the thing is, uh, yeah. Uh, at least some of you following my talks uh, several times and uh, you uh, realize that the uh, main theme is around Kirchhoff uh, Kunt uh, metrics uh, and basically uh, I'm going to discuss uh, uh, some metrics uh, first of all in Kirchhoff form, a specific uh, metric form uh, and uh, satisfying some nice properties uh, making them Kunt and uh, now uh, the main uh, focus, main theme in the talk is about the universality of uh, Kirchhoff Kunt metrics and for universality, what I mean is, uh, yeah, they are uh, they are solving uh, under some uh, circumstances. Basically, the circumstances is if they are solving Einstein's equation or uh, they are solving uh, quadratic curvature equations, these kind of uh, uh, KSK metrics uh, becomes universal. They solve any kind of metric-based theorems. Uh, the idea is about it. And uh, yeah, in the talk, uh, I will define the Kirchhoff-Kun class then. Uh, I will discuss uh, specifically known examples uh, called ADS waves. Uh, and uh, I will discuss uh, some points about obtaining uh, different kinds of uh, KSK members uh, and uh, some uh, specific uh, wave, solution, uh, for a, uh, wave solutions for a specific theorem, which is called Born Path Gravity uh, Theory in 4D. And why this theory has some complicated uh, set of field equations, but you will see that, uh, yeah, just the, the, the techniques that we develop uh, is uh, rather powerful. Uh, with, without doing any calculation, you will obtain the uh, uh, solution of this theory, wave solution of this theory uh, in this class. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, this talk uh, based on uh, several works uh, in uh, recent years. Uh, in, in defining the metric class, uh, yeah, these papers are about. Uh, and uh, in obtaining ADS wave solutions, uh, basically, uh, Ibrahim Ujam here, uh, we need uh, together. And uh, then, uh, for solution generating techniques uh, for ADS waves, uh, we did something, and we are uh, in continuation of uh, doing something with uh, Chetan Ujam, uh, who is also here. Uh, and uh, for the specific kind of uh, theory that I'm going to give an example, uh, to find uh, solutions, wave solutions of this theory. Again, we did uh, some work with Ibrahim Ujam. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely, uh, Bayram Technology from Middle East Technical University and uh, from BKF University making this solution. Uh, okay. Uh, and why uh, higher curvature uh, theories? Uh, wh why, am, why I am testing these theories? Uh, Einstein theory, uh, whether it is enough or uh, uh, we should deal with these kind of uh, a bit, a bit uh, complicated business. Uh, basically, uh, yeah. Although Einstein theory is uh, very, uh, very, very uh, well uh, tested theory in uh, several regimes, in solar system scale, or uh, just uh, we are uh, continually verifying it in the in the gravitation wave observations. Uh, basically, uh, it has uh, some uh, some theoretical and uh, some uh, observational uh, observational uh, problems. Uh, the theoretical thing is basically it is not a renormalizable theory. Uh, yeah, the Einstein theory is defined with this. Uh, Form of action which is Einstein Dirac action, and in uh, 1974 it is shown uh, with several people, uh, even in Nobel Prize winner, as you know, uh, as you see. Uh, yeah, it is not uh, renormalizable. And how, how can you uh, try to uh, understand your meaning out of uh, the, uh, this non renormalizable theory? Is basically treating it as an effective field theory uh, in the effective field theory perspective. Uh, yeah, it's going high energies. Uh, uh, in principle, high curvature and derivative terms uh, will pop up uh, in the theory. Uh, and uh, yeah, these uh, terms are uh, motivated in several approaches uh, to uh, quantum gravity, basically. Uh, and uh, what we are going to do is not uh, restrict ourselves uh, with a specific kind of modification, but uh, trying to deal with uh, the uh, most general theory uh, as, uh, as in this case. And the basic question is, yeah, just uh, I, I already motivated the question. The basic question is, in the most complicated uh, uh, way or sense, uh, you have an action de uh, depending on Riemann uh, tensor and its uh, coherent derivatives, basically. Uh, and any power of Riemann uh, tensor uh, con uh, contracts totally with its, uh, its coherent derivatives to 
any problem basically. Uh, and what can you say about the uh, sources of this uh, theory uh, is the basic question. And what we know, what we know uh, about it is uh, PP solves the generic theory. And uh, it is, uh, yeah, the first uh, observation is due to a uh, Turkish physicist, Rami Güven, uh, from Boğaziçi mm -hmm. University. Uh, and uh, yeah, just in, the, in this paper, he, he showed that, uh, yeah, in addition to Rami uh, Güven, uh, Amati Kulimcik, uh, two years later, Boris Stipe, uh, three years later, uh, showed that, uh, yeah, this action, in the absence of, not this, uh, in, not this test, in the absence of uh, cosmological constant, uh, yeah, it is solved by uh, solved by PP waves. Uh, and what is PP waves? Uh, basically, uh, they are they are the name. The name is plane uh, fronted uh, gravitational waves and parallel rays. Is uh, yeah, these PEs uh, come from uh, plane and uh, plane fronted and parallel. Uh, they are they are represented in Kirchhoff form, uh, and you are going to see that uh, Kirchhoff two class of matrix A is the name suggests. You also represent in the Kirchhoff form, uh, and Kirchhoff form is basically uh, this uh, kind of a structure. The matrix uh, decomposed into uh, a seed matrix, if you want, uh, or a background matrix, uh, yeah, depending on your taste. Uh, and in addition to a vector field uh, lambda uh, and a metric function uh, B satisfying uh, some. Uh, nice properties. The vector function is a null. Uh, uh, excuse me. Vector field is a null vector field, uh, and uh, basically, uh, it satisfies. Uh, uh, it is uh, co coherent constant, if you want, uh, and it is uh, the metric function satisfies this uh, property. And uh, moving to the Kirchhoff class, class of metrics, you will uh, immediately feel the uh, generalization. Uh, yeah, the initial generalization. Uh, two, 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 two. Uh, maximum symmetric uh, constant curvature background, uh, anti uh seed matrix. Uh, and uh, the, the thing is, you still have a, a null a vector field, but at this time it is satisfying a specific, it's co 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 uh, has a symmetric nature uh, with a defined uh, C uh, uh, vector field, which is, which is with whose contraction with the lambda uh, null vector is uh, zero, basically. And metric function V also satisfies a similar property. Uh, they are not sure this. They are also geodesics. They are also geodesics. Yes. Yes. Because of uh, because of this property. Uh, and uh, and uh, what is lambda? They are divergences. Have you shown that they satisfy a geodesic equation? This property shows that these are null vectors. Yeah, it is. It is satisfying basically. Yeah, yeah basically, what I mean is uh, contact with the lambda. Uh, you, you obtain immediately a uh, vector symmetry uh, zero, basically. Yeah, what I mean. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, yeah, but for that propagating uh, lambda vector uh, uh, in its uh, uh, in the direction of itself. Uh, yeah, just nearly zero, basically. Nearly zero. Uh, and. Uh, Lambda mu is divergent genesis uh, shear field. Uh, maybe I'm missing a uh, yeah, fine point in your question, but uh, yeah, we, we may discuss after the, uh, uh, after the uh, talk also. And uh, with these nice properties, what, what, what uh, lambda has? It is divergence, shear field, and non twisted phase. It, it, it is cone space sign. Cone space sign is defined over these uh, three conditions. And it is uh, these matrix are in Kirchhoff form, and uh, basically they are in space. Time. And uh, properties of uh, KSK matrix uh, is uh, basically they are Taipan traces uh, rich matrix, uh, uh, and traces rich tensor is defined uh, over this relation, this basic relation basically, uh, and it takes a specific simple form uh, for KSK class of matrix. And uh, in this simple form, uh, you define a, a row uh, function. Uh, you define it over a specific uh, operator acting on the V metric function, and it has this form. Uh, and what row satisfies it? It nicely satisfies the same property as V. And this property is very crucial in terms of uh, showing that uh, these KSK class of metrics are universal. Uh, because any kind of uh, scalar that you constructed satisfies this nice property of uh, V, and uh, yeah, in turn, it will yield the universality of this class. <coughs> And uh, they, are, they are type and veil uh, matrix. Okay, it looks complicated, but the important thing is, uh, notice that yeah, just uh, their veil tensor is constructed uh, in terms of two lambdas and, and omega defined like this. 
Uh, and uh, omega satisfies some uh, nice properties in terms of lambda contraction, and uh, it's uh, yeah, and satisfies this property. And basically, uh, yeah, just uh, lambda contraction uh, between tensor satisfies this yielding uh, intern uh, type and uh, property. And okay, coming to the uh, coming to, uh, to the theorem yielding the universality, basically. Uh, for this uh, special space time, the uh, KSK uh, constant matrix, any second rate symmetric tensor uh, constructed from the Riemann tensor in its covariant derivatives. Uh, okay, any, uh, so any uh, second rate symmetric tensor which, which, uh, for which the equation of motion, the field equations uh, also, uh, yeah, just in this form, uh, can be written as a linear combination of uh, the metric, the traces which it tensor, and uh, higher uh, orders in S V nu, what I mean, uh, acting also uh, the Dalam version basically, okay, any powers of Dalam version. And uh, the, uh, the corollary for this term is you can write the equation of motion uh, with these building blocks basically, okay, in this form. And uh, it's uh, trace, trace of this equation uh, yields uh, E equals to zero and E uh, determines the cosmological constant. Uh, and uh, uh, and trace this part, uh, which uh, ah, trace this part is solved by uh, solution of this equation. Yeah, just basically uh, solution of this equation. And wh what is this equation? It is basically this equation is s minus is the Einstein uh, mean fees. Uh, s minus is equal to zero is the uh, solution of uh, KSK solution of Einstein's derivative. If I use all this, uh, and uh, this term, uh, yeah, in total, let's say it is the. Uh, field equation of quadratic curvature invariant, and once you solve it, uh, it also solves as as the uh, as, as this piece you are solving. Uh, basically, it also solves the traces part of uh, the most general uh, gravity theory uh, field equations. Okay. Uh, and the basic idea of the proof is uh, simple. Uh, what we have is uh, you realize that in the building blocks, uh, basically the wave tensor, the uh, traces switch tensor, you always uh, two lambdas. And basically, uh, any contraction of, when you study the uh, contraction of lambda vector with any kind of tensorial form uh, coming out of this metric, uh, you realize that either you uh, again, after a after lambda contraction, you again generate a free uh, lambda, uh, or, or you get a zero. Uh, basically, uh, you cannot get rid of the, you cannot decrease the number of uh, lambdas uh, in the, in the uh, tensors that you constructed by having some contractions. On top of that, uh, what you have is, uh, if you don't uh, conserve the number of lambdas, let's say, number of uh, free indexed lambdas, uh, you get a zero, uh, you get a zero. Basically, under these conditions, you must start with two lambda uh, tensors uh, to obtain a non-zero uh, two tensor at the end of uh, contractions. And basically, uh, it, it determines the structure of the uh, field equations, basically. Having two lambdas, uh, excuse me, having two lambdas uh, hidden in S V nu, uh, and uh, this is the this is the best thing that you can have uh, because uh, covariant derivatives of the wave tensor also turns to uh, some S V nu with the uh, by, uh, yeah you, you can transform them basically uh, and. Uh, KSK matrix uh, linearized the field equations is a uh, very nice property in obtaining the solutions, basically. Uh, for example, box, uh, n to, uh, box to the n S V nu uh, can be put uh, in this form. Uh, what I mean, this Dalam version is uh, for the full metric. This Dalam version is uh, for the background or the seat metric, if you want, for the ADS. Uh, yeah, for the Dalam version for the ADS. And this uh, simplifies the setting. Uh, this simplifies the setting, and this makes the equation solvable, basically. Uh, and uh, then the field equations uh, uh, takes this form. Uh, these field equations boils down to this form, uh, and S mini boils down to this form, and it becomes solvable. It, it becomes solvable uh, since you have the known operator, uh, which is uh, wrote, uh, which is written in. Uh, for the ADS uh, space. And uh, field equations for the Einstein's gravity and quadratic curvature uh, gravity uh, is important because if, uh, if this equation uh, is solved by uh, your metric function, then this metric function will solve uh, any uh, high curvature uh, gravity theory or high derivative uh, 
curve theory. And this is the uh, quadratic uh, curvature gravity, and it has uh, basically this form of uh, field equations where A uh, is related to uh, M squared function defined uh, like this, which involves the theory parameters, basically. Uh, and uh, once, once you have a solution, uh, a yes wave solution solving cosmological Einstein gravity, I must, I, I must emphasize the point. Uh, in uh, Rami Ojas, Rami Kivan uh, Ojas solution, uh, lambda zero is the, uh, the absolute limit. Uh, and uh, now uh, we introduce the cosmological constant. And uh, for the cosmological constant, if you have an ADS solution, or uh, if you have an ADS solution for the quadratic curvature of gravity, then these solutions uh, will uh, also solve any uh, high derivative theory in this form, uh, in the most general form. And uh, what are the uh, explicit examples of uh, explicitly known uh, KSK matrix is basically uh, ADS plane and ADS spherical waves are the uh, known cases. And uh, combining our substitute of uh, 4E, ADS plane wave or uh, CCOS matrix is in this form basically. And I'm going to uh, discuss the form of uh, V uh, for these cases, but uh, uh, this is basically the uh, ADS uh, space time. Uh, and uh, ADS spherical wave. Again, this piece is the ADS space time and metric function uh, will uh, come. Uh, and uh, for the Einstein's gravity solution, uh, Kai Morado uh, give the uh, solution uh, as, as, as this form. As this form. And uh, basically, uh, for A equals to zero, it reduced to goes down to this uh, simple form. And you may also see Chandler and Dillon's uh, in terms of uh, a discussion on uh, Kai Morado's solution. And uh, for the quadratic curvature gravity solution, uh, Alicia and Farah uh, and uh, at the uh, same time, around the same time, let's say, uh, yeah, just uh, uh, we uh, propose, actually, actually, we, we, uh, we propose this solution, but yeah, just the solution is uh, given by uh, Alicia and Farah and yeah, it, it, it uh, really t takes a simple form, yeah, not as simple as Farah Gordo, but this, this is the solution of quadratic curvature gravity, basically. Uh, and uh, new involves the mass parameter if you want. Uh, and why I'm uh, calling it as the mass parameter? Because uh, when you, uh, you linearize the theory, what you have is uh, the uh, Klein Gordon uh, equation for a uh, massive, massive, uh, massive uh, scalar equation, if you want. Uh, and uh, ADS spherical wave solution is uh, also, uh, yeah, just uh, takes this form in uh, four dimensions and it, it simplifies uh, for having uh, A0 in these uh, cases. And for the, for the, for the uh, solution that we introduced, uh, basically, uh, yeah, just, uh, I confined myself uh, for 4D, but uh, let me turn to a 3D example uh, in the presence of Ali uh, Kamari, who was in the audience and we listened to him uh, in the morning. Uh, basically, everything starts, yeah, just uh, after the first uh, paper, uh, including Ibrahim uh, Hojan also, yeah, uh, yeah, to note the uh, uh, story of the, this business taking uh, several years of uh, work, uh, started with the work of uh, Ali Kramoja, uh, after, after finding the, uh, after uh, finding the uh, quantity curvature gravity solution in this form, uh, which we call ADS plane wave uh, solution, uh, around the same time, around the same time, uh, Ali Hojan and Ahmed Hojan introduced uh, a solution for, uh, a solution uh, for, uh, new massive gravity, and uh, for the new massive gravity uh, solution, another Feynman solution for the new massive gravity, and uh, basically uh, everything starts with the uh, with, with the trial of Mikinoja, uh, just generalizing uh, 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 Amido Aliyev solution to uh, higher dimensions, and uh, basically uh, the higher dimensional version of, uh, of uh, three dimensional this solution is uh, uh, is this uh, is is this solution basically, and. Uh, Moving to the main theme of the talk, uh, what we did is uh, yeah, finding this solution, which is generalization of uh, this solution, and uh, finding this solution, uh, what we did is these, uh, yeah, or uh, main, uh, main uh, word of the, uh, this talk is that yeah, these solutions are not only solving the quadratic curvature gravity, but any kind of theory, any kind of metric-based theory. Uh, uh, define uh, uh, Riemann tensor, it's uh, higher orders uh, in the Lagrangian, it's uh, covalent derivatives. Uh, and uh, some uh, immediate questions that we may have is uh, basically, okay, yeah, just since I uh, say the main word, uh, let me check the time, okay. 
And yeah, we, we, we can pursue with the uh, question of are there any other uh, number of uh, GSK, uh, other member of GSK class, uh, or is there any DS uh, wave? We, up to now, we discussed ADS waves, until the uh, space time is symmetric, but whether the uh, Sitter uh, wave is possible or not, or is there a systematic way to construct a uh, GSK matrix solving a generic high derivative theory? Uh, yeah, these kind of questions are imagined things. Uh, and for the GSK matrix, uh, yeah, indeed, there is a uh, social generation technique. And a GSK matrix in the D dimensions can be generated from curves in one less dimensions. Basically, what you have is yeah, having a curve, and uh, out of uh, this curve, you define a distance between uh, points uh, P and Q, uh, basically. Uh, uh, and what you did is, uh, yeah, by using uh, uh, this distance definition, you uh, define a uh, null view. Uh, and uh, you see that uh, once you take the uh, derivative of this null field, it resembles to the derivative of the null vector field in the KSK case. Yeah, basically, what we are doing is, yeah, just a formal resemblance of these two equations uh, yields a prescription uh, such that uh, taking the vectors of uh, mu and uh, lambda mu uh, to be equal and derive the corresponding vector uh, C mu, which is the uh, other defining uh, uh, field uh, for the KSK class, uh, you, you, you can uh, obtain, uh, obtain or you can generate a KSK uh, member, uh, KSK class member. And second constraint, uh, basically, uh, just uh, reduce the d-dimensional curve uh, to, uh, or constrains the d-dimensional curve uh, to one less dimension. And what we have is for, uh, yeah, uh, we generated already uh, found solutions, but uh, are there uh, anything more is the aim, as you say, and we reached our aim of uh, obtaining DS hyperbolic wave. Uh, and DS hyperbolic uh, wave uh, obtained uh, by having such a curve, uh, such a curve, and following the prescription and uh, using that uh, formal resemblance of the uh, derivatives, partial derivatives. And uh, basically, it is uh, uh, some work in uh, progress with Mekin uh, Hoja, uh, Vaya Hoja, and uh, Chetan Hoja in the audience. And uh, uh, yeah, just the first solution uh, re result is uh, a DS. Basically, now you have the C, which is uh, not uh, ADS, but DS. And uh, the metric function uh, uh, is in this form. In four uh, D, and uh, okay, yeah, these are the examples. We generate new uh, members uh, to KSK class. Now the next thing is basically uh, how to how to use what we learn. Uh, yeah, this is this is a specific theory uh, again uh, defined uh, in this work, uh, and uh, basically four D we are uh, gravity with a yeah, what kind of a theory is this? It it, it involves uh, a square root of determinant uh, and. Uh, uh, it uh, follows the ideas of uh, Bornicat electrodynamics, uh, and uh, also also follows the uh, yeah basically Deser and Gibbons uh, followed the ideas of Bornicat uh, electrodynamics, and then we uh, use the ideas of uh, Deser and Gibbons to identify as uh, higher order in curvature theory in this form, uh, and a minute tensor appearing in the determinant uh, takes this complicated form. But yeah, it's, although although the Lagrangian is in, um, extreme uh, complicated uh, form, uh, the theory has a, has a very nice features, uh, such that it has a unique vacuum, just like Einstein's theory, unique viable vacuum, if you want, uh, and uh, it has a massless graviton uh, as the extension of the Einstein's theory. And, uh, okay, yes, some details about the uh, uh, theory. Any, uh, any uh, truncation of this theory is uh, three-level unitary basic, really. Uh, and yeah, it has some additional nice features, but the important thing about related to talk uh, is uh, about the theory is uh, it, uh, it's ADS wave solutions. And uh, remember, uh, the KSK class linearizes the uh, field equations. And uh, since this theory has uh, unique uh, vacuum and massless graviton, basically just like Einstein's gravity, uh, its linearized field equations is nothing but the uh, linearized field equations of uh, Einstein's gravity, because they represent the same x uh, And uh, once you know that uh, KSK class of matrix linearizes the field equations of this theory, and we know uh, uh, that the theory has uh, only uh, massless uh, graviton mode, uh, without doing any calculation, the 4D VI gravity has Einsteinian ADS wave solution. Uh, and ADS plane wave solution is nothing but this. Uh, this is the uh, Craig Gorodo uh, B uh, metric function, as you may remember. And this is uh, these are the other uh, uh, 
uh, spherical wave solution and hypergroup wave solutions. Yeah, it is imagined without doing any calculation, but you must calculate. Uh, you may ask, uh, okay, you must calculate something. Yes, we must calculate something that uh, we must calculate is L. Uh, basically, it is appearing, uh, yeah, the effective cosmological constant, and you must solve the uh, trace part. Uh, and, uh, and the trace part is a solvable algebraic equation, basically. And uh, conclusion, ADS waves are solutions of generic high uh, order gravity theory. And uh, ADS metrics in B dimensions can be generated from curves in one and less dimensions. And, and there is uh, yeah, definitely a very large room to follow this uh, curve uh, generation technique. We, uh, yeah, we are trying to, but yeah, uh, possibly uh, yeah, several of uh, this class can be generated, uh, including the hyperbola. And uh, one may take background metric as the VTC black hole and uh, study the performances of VTC black hole in uh, KSK form. Uh, yeah, it is also another uh, uh, thing that uh, you may uh, proceed or uh, try to figure out, and uh, we are trying this. And uh, thanks for your uh, attention, and I would be glad to. Uh, Any questions? You can apply it for gravity award foundation with that study. Years ago, something with Matthew and the other group members. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, for Gravity Award Foundation. Yes, you would apply the one of absolutely, absolutely, professor. Uh, yeah, just uh, I, 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 I get a uh, point of make here. Sorry for that. Exactly. The, the, we applied for for the solution generation technique. Yeah. Uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, high intellectual work uh, of uh, Metin Hoca uh, here, uh, just, and uh, it is a very, very, very nice procedure. And based on Gürsel uh, uh, Sarıoğlu uh, paper, uh, and uh, they are using similar techniques, and yeah, just, it was a very nice, but yeah, it is not, uh, yeah. I don't, uh, I think that, yeah, just, uh, yeah, the, Good people judging about these papers, definitely, but yeah, uh, it deserves uh, a bit more, I don't know, our belief, but yeah, just we are, we are happy, we are happy. Uh, at least we are, we generated DS hyperbolic. We, uh, we generated DS hyperbolic, and we hope that uh, DS hyperbolic would be relevant for uh, s several things, because it is it is a way uh, moving in uh, DS background, and it can be relevant to uh, yeah, several things, starting from uh, the, uh, waves, basically gravitational waves, uh, from the uh, from the first moments of the time. It, uh, it is a possibility still there. Yeah, just uh, at least we generated. Uh, uh, we didn't get appreciation from the various research foundation, but at least uh, we have been some. Yeah. Not that you will mention. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> next time, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, yeah. professor, next after time. it will yeah. Any questions? So let's close. Thank you.